California and Memorial Stadium, AKA the Plantation. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Wilson has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Mike three. Mike three. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on play. That'll make it 31. Mike And they make the stop at the 43. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Martinez gains four yards on that reception. That makes it second and six. to his receiver so they complete that for about seven yards and they'll pick up a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch he can ask for much more than that it was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first from the 46 yard line first down Nice catch first down and he's knocked out that's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Gets it out quickly. Good tackle there in space. Game of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 30. And they got him for a loss. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. They bring him down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. the 11th play of the drive. Brought down at the 17. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And 
handoff, and he's met immediately. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Oregon State to take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Tackle made at the 22. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a That'll make it second and four. He's taken down at about the 41. Gain of one on the play. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Play action. And he's level at the 49 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 49 yard line, it's second down. goes at about the 47 yard line throws to the tight end and that falls incomplete you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold oregon state has a three-point lead They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Taken down in the backfield. A little toss across the middle. Tackle made around the 27 yard line. waiting for the snap. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 42.
You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. How about that pass play? Woo, great call. Let me tell you, talk about dangerous. When this tailback gets in the open field, woo, good luck trying to stop him. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Nice run there. Hot gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. California is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kurt. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. after a decent run up the gut. First down. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining five yards. That makes it third and three. Two times, two times. We played one. Three, three time. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Complete and he stopped immediately. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second. Here's the eighth play of the series.
Fires at him quickly, incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. He throws it. He catches another one. And they make the stop at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, OSU! These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Anderson from the one. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Call it again in two yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. The 43-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 43. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. tackled around the 23-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Fights forward to about the 20. That's good for a game three yards. That'll make it second. And 
and this is the eighth play of the drive. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 20-yard line, third down. Here they come. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The kick is up, and he's got it. Wilson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon State is up by four. It's the tailback. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. down at about the 37 yard line it's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving he was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming got a man and it falls to the ground from their own 37 yard line second down Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he tackles him hard at the 46. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Oregon State holds a four-point lead. Complete. He's got room, and he hits him hard at the 28. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 32. This is the 11th play of this drive. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. It's broken up. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? You can. Bet 
defend the Bears a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're gonna try for the long field goal. It has the distance. Not a lot of success on that kick. So we'll change possession with a score, 10-6, Oregon State. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. the 50. First down. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second to seven. Right around the 50. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It's not that often, Kirk, we see a team that plays this well when their star player isn't playing well. Now, Martinez's stats line, well, as we approach halftime, nowhere near what we expected. Well, I'm sure he's not too concerned about his individual performance up to this point because the team is playing so well. And this is actually, I think, a, a really a testament to just how good this football team is and how well they're coached to have your star player not playing his best and yet to still have the lead getting ready still for half a football to go. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. California is going to use their first time out of the half here. Oregon State is up four. Gives it to the back. And he's taken down at the 15. California will have one timeout remaining. Green is waiting for the snap. Anderson takes it at the 43, and he's taken down at the 45. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. balance and they can't connect. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Slings it. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Hey, 
Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete off his hands. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon State is up by four. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 37-yard line, second down. He steps out at the 45-yard line. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Green to punt. He's out to the 30, looking for the corner. He's tackled at the 42. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punt the ball to change the field position. Stops the clock with a spike. From the three-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Golden Bears. to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 58-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Wilson is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense, and then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Pressure coming. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. Oregon State's going to take their first time out of the half. Looks middle, got his back. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Wants to go long and does. Can't connect. We've played a half. California leads it 13-10.
All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. California is up by three. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He guns it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. They'll bring him down at the 37. From their own 37-yard line. It's first down. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. handoff and he's taken down for a loss Third down. third down again quick throw almost intercepted California has a three-point lead. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 34. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Mike three. Mike three. Makes it out to about the 26. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. They hand it off again. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Fires it quickly. It's knocked away, incomplete. When you play the quarterback position, you have to be able to read the defense and look off defenders. He didn't really do that on that pass. He was lucky it was only a tip and not a pick. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. He's got it with room to run. 
Touchdown, Oregon State. And he tacks on the extra point. Oregon State gets set to kick this one away. Hunter from the five. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it. He's tackled at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. complete he's got room to work he's out of bounds at the 47 and he carries them all for a nice game From the 46 yard line. First down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 12. he got anything on that so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield third down now and they need to get it down to the 36 Makes the catch, and he might take it. And down he goes at the 16. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. at the 12. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. And this play is number eight on the drive. Off the fake, touchdown! This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. Wilson looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game.
This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Mike three, Mike three. Bumble, bumble, bumble. And Mike three, Mike three. Give to the tailback. He's at midfield. And they tackle him at the 38. First down. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Touchdown, Beavers. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. He makes the PAT. Hey, get set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Oh, man. He took him down hard. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Football picks up the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Oregon State is up four. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. Fights forward to about the 30. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal.
It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Cavalry's coming. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Throws it in a hurry. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. Hope back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The Beavers have got to remember that they've still got a fight on their hands in this football game. Yeah, they cannot afford to get sloppy. Remember the first half, how bad they looked. And as good as things are going right now, with an entire quarter to go, they got to continue to play good football. Well, the last drive was good for three. But I'm sure in this one, they'll be looking to double that. Oregon State up seven points. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Fires quick, tipped. I don't think the quarterback read the zone properly. The linebacker was in a great spot to make a play on the ball. Good tackle there in space. Quick throw out to the receiver. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. the snap oh excellent punt Anderson takes it the 21 and he makes it out to about the 37 yard line there's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing he gets rid of this one you know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Points galore through three. An action-packed fourth quarter is on deck. Oregon State in front, 27-20. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Throws complete, he's hammered. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. Here we go. Here we go. Nine to Mike. Nine to Mike. 
It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. Complete one of his receiver. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets it. He's in space. That's a three yard pickup. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. from the 18-yard line. Third down. He delivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Wilson is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and three. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up second and three. Check, 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 check. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Steps out of bounds at midfield. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Mike three! Mike three! Let's go! Let's go! He airs it out. Doesn't get there. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards, and now it's fourth down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Now 
now he's flushed and they got it. Follow the loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. made at the 23. Got a receiver and he dropped it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Hope, the return man. Booming kick. Pope takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Makes his way to about the 48. Martinez gains around eight yards on the run. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's a great tackle at the 49 yard line. it out right to the running back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41-yard line. First down. From the 41-yard line, first down. He goes out of bounds right around the 40. That makes it second and eight. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That's a Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Quick strike, and he drops it. Kicks away, and it's wide left. No good. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Brought down at the 43. 
Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 47. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. It's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick pitch and he goes nowhere. Lots of three yards on the play. That brings up second and thirteen. Makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. And here's another third down. Nice run there. Normally you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. He gets it up. And the field goal is good. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Talk about a pressure-filled situation. Martinez's playmaking abilities have got him to this point, Kirk, and now he's got a chance to put it away. Well, you're talking about one of the most explosive players on this field, and if I'm running this offense, I'm finding any possible way to get the football into his hands. He has the potential of taking the ball to the house anytime he touches the ball. It's pressure-packed moments like this where great players need to step up. Slings it. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. And down he goes at the 41. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fires it out. Very good tackle in space. The Beavers are going to call their second timeout. Wants it all, going deep. And he's hit immediately. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Second down and goal. Ball on the six. the eighth play of the series. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead.
a minute to go. And he tacks on the extra point. Oregon State to kick. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. California's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, third down. made at about the 39-yard line. He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second and 10. Ball on the 39. He's going to try and scramble. Breaks one. He's taken down at the 46. The Golden Bears, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Here comes the pressure. He lets it fly. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 34-30, Oregon State. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.